actually sitting there in the rocking chair holding him when it told me. So he just kind of grabbed him and squeezed him a little tighter and tried to deal with it and uh, process what was being told to you, what that meant. At first, I really didn't know exactly what cystic fibrosis was. Doing the research, talking to the doctors and everything, finding out exactly what it was, what it meant. So that was kind of the first process for me of how to handle it. Then the big thing was just talking with people. Everybody wants to kind of say, well, why us? I remember one of my friends who has a son with some medical issues, he said his wife had a big issue with it, and she was doing the why us. And I just remember clear as day, him, his response to her was, why not us? And that's really helped me is, well, why not us as far as me and Sarah? We're great parents. We got the family and the friends to help support us to get through it. So why not be with us instead of, you know, parents that don't have the means to provide the proper care for somebody with CF? It doesn't consume our life by any means. We haven't let it. We don't live around CF. It's just a part of what we do, and we just make some minor changes, but we didn't change anything drastic to, to deal with it. Yeah, I mean, he goes to school, we hang out with our friends, you know, he plays in the dirt. We have a house at Dale Hollow, so he swims in the lake. You know, we do everything that he wants to do until there's a, you know, if there was a reason why we couldn't, then we would figure it out, but we're not going to limit him. We have no intent of doing that. The research is the big thing to, to help find a cure, so anything that we can do and, and have Lucas help uh, anybody else in the future, uh, you feel obligated to do it just to hope one day see the benefits of all the research and you know every time I get on a CF website there's something new coming out and I just hope that uh, we can be a part of that. I don't know the exact numbers but I just know you know when CF first, first diagnosed that the life expectancy of somebody was you know maybe early 20 you know 20s teens and to now see people with it in their 40s, 50s, even 60s, uh, just gives you a lot more hope that uh, you know research is on the right path and that uh, you know, one day there's going to be a cure.